I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm gonna post this whether it fails or not. Holy sh**. G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we're gonna have a little fun in the studio. I was gonna say in the kitchen. I don't often do recipes and there's sometimes where I get a little idea in my mind and I need to get that out of my brain. My little brain has went, you need to try this chopper and I thought, why not experiment this with you? A couple of years ago, I made a layered buttercream, which you can see here, it's, it's a rainbow layer. There's a tutorial on how to layer your buttercream to look like a rainbow. And I wanna try that with cake. All right, so let's get started. I've got my basic ingredients here. You don't normally see me prepare these things, but I am such a slap hazard cook. We're going to just throw everything in all at once and spill some. So I had my dry ingredients there. I put in my eggs. Then I throw in my oil. And this is just your plain vanilla cake, so you don't need to be too fussy with it. Combine that all together. Something weird about my mixtures, I like to throw in the baking soda last. So now that I've got it semi-mixed, I'm gonna sprinkle that all over the top. It's just so I know that it's worked in enough. I don't know if that's even a logical thought. It's just something that I do. That just got me thinking. Do you have any weird habits in the kitchen? <gasps> Not like that. What is wrong with you? Now that my cake batter's made and ready to go, I'm gonna divide that evenly amongst five dishes. If you're gonna try this at home as well, it helps to have five little pans that we're going to freeze the cake batter in because these little ones won't actually take the height of the cake. And luckily for me, I have one that's the exact same circumference, so it'll be a lot easier for me to do. I'm just pouring one cup of batter into each bowl and then we'll see how we go because that way you're gonna get even amounts. Now's the fun part where I get to mix the cake batter with the colors and I'm gonna use my Sugar Out Master Elite collection. I know it sounds like I'm selling this to you guys. I'm not, I promise. They are just such bloody great colors and I want you guys to play with what I get to play with. Okay, let's watch these change right before your eyes. Start off with violet, sapphire sky, emerald, a little bit of sunshine, and my absolute favorite, ruby red. Now that we have all these gorgeous colors, I'm gonna take my five pans and put about a third of a cup, maybe two thirds of a cup into each pan, and then pop it in the freezer to set firm. So there we have our five beautiful colors. I'm gonna go pop them into the freezer and let them freeze solid so we can pop them out and then layer them all together. You wanna make sure they're nice and flat so they'll stack perfectly. One pair of pants later. Alrighty, we're back. They are frozen. They look incredible. Like, check out these colors, guys. They are just amazing. What I'm gonna do is take a little spatula, knife, whatever, and just very quickly loosen that around the edge. I'm just gonna lift that up and place them into our lined tin. Have a paper towel handy, because it's gonna get sticky. I've lined each one, so I should be able to just peel that baking paper off. Next we'll go with yellow, placing it straight on top, making sure it doesn't grab to the side and then just pushing that down. Then I'll do green. Hopefully it hasn't gone too soft. They do go soft very quickly, so you might wanna work fast or do one at a time. Placing that in. Now blue. Oh, blue is very, very soft. I might have to go super quick with this one. <laughs> what a mess, but lots of fun. Pop this one straight in. Peel that last layer off. Then I'm gonna go wash my hands and we just leave this on the bench because it's in the tin, it's lined, it's ready for baking, but we don't bake it frozen. We let it come back to room temperature, then we put it in and bake normal as you would any other cake. I have a theory that there's gonna be a little bit of melting around the side, but the main parts of the cake will be layered. So we'll see how we go. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, we are back. The cake is cooked, it's cooled, it's ready to be revealed. Just from the top of this, I'm pretty excited. It's not what I thought it would be. There is a lot of color everywhere. This is incredible. Okay, first of all, the sides look good. Looks very colorful. It's a little bit uneven. I don't know if that's anything to do with the whole uh, cooking process. Let's go right down the middle. Ooh, here we go. Oh my, wow. Let's check that out. That is amazing. It's so interesting how the layers like 
you think there's only one layer of each and they've all bubbled and this really shows the, I, I guess the molecular movement. Is that what it would be? Sciencey stuff. Anyway, that, check it out. That, if you want, I'm gonna call this the tie-dye cake. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Holy shit, I am so blown away by how cool that looks. Once again, the Sugar Arts colors are incredible. This is just a testament to it. I think we'll dub this the rainbow tie-dye cake. What do you reckon? Is it a cake win or is it a cake fail? Let me know in the comments below. If you wanna follow these cake experiments, then hit the subscribe button. Check me out on social media. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is a little bit sticky. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, so stressful, I'm gonna need a beer.